Hi everyone, I hope that you're all doing well. I've had some time to think about my theory about Jamie and how I think he could be the son of Arthur and Mary, and I came across some dialogue that I think might add weight to the theory. There's a mission where Slim Grant calls Arthur son, and Arthur replies, I'm not your son, so it's almost like it's signaling that Arthur doesn't take that term lightly. Um, I'm not sure if Arthur calls anyone else in the game son other than Jamie and the son that he had who passed away prior to the game. So it's, I don't think Arthur consciously thinks of Jamie as a son because I think Mary's dad would have had her hide it from him. But it seems like subconsciously he just naturally um, behaves like Jamie's dad. And so let me start this here so we can see how Arthur first addresses Jamie, and then we can contrast that to how he responds to Slim Grant. And what is Telonius? No less than the recent rediscovery of theology. <laughs> Gentlemen! Safety. Uh, safety. Gonna speak to the boy? Arthur? Hello, son. What's your name, son? I ain't got no name. And I ain't your son. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. So, for Mary, the way that she addresses Jamie, it's, um... Interesting to compare to how Dutch um, calls John my boy when he's trying to manipulate John into thinking of him as his father. But with Mary, when she says my boy, it's it's like this um, very genuine motherly instinct she has for Jamie. And she doesn't call him my sweet brother or my baby brother. She calls him my boy. So it sounds more like how a mom would address her son. Um, another interesting thing is after this um, mission, later on, well, way later on in the game, um, Arthur does this debt collection mission where he's collecting um, from Arthur Londonderry's widow, and it's almost like that is um, sort of what Mary's father feared could have happened to her and Jamie if she had married um, Arthur and he stayed loyal to Dutch. And it's kind of interesting because that little boy could totally pass as a young version of Jamie. So I'll add a clip of that um, to the end of this, but let's see how um, Mary addresses Jamie here. Partner. Make it quick or I might run off again. <laughs> Jamie! Oh, come home, please. You've... Father's been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. You left me to die! My boy. I didn't have a choice. John, I didn't... You! I didn't have a choice. You left me! Arthur's dead. I know. I'm sorry for it. It's just... We lent Arthur some money, you see, and... So it was you. You son of a bitch. What do you want now? You want my boy's shoes? You want the food out of our bellies? What little there is? want me to lie down for you? No, no. I... Arthur gave everything to pay your bills. Everything. And now there's some fellas coming to take the house. There ain't nothing left, mister. Uh, I 
just wanted to say the debt canceled and to here, take this. It won't bring your husband back, I know. You need money and I don't. Well, you're a good man. I just wish you'd done it before he worked himself into the grave. But you know, maybe you and your friend that lent him the money could do things differently. Like, not threaten a man. Excuse me. I'm sorry, ma'am. I really am. <laughs>